Back, back, back. Yo, March 27th, checking out the market IPO stock madness. Let's check out uh, GNLN. Yeah, this came about way back in 2019, went as high as 29. Then look at the wash down. 2020, it really went down hard. It looks like the low from that point at that time was, <coughs> excuse me, 102. And then this moved up, $4, came back down. See the low got higher right here at two. And then we moved all the way up again near uh, eight plus on this right here, which is, I get the candle in here. Eight seventy three, so you can see the move, big move up at the very beginning. The IPO and then goes down, and then here we go. We have a massive wedge down now. You know, inside the move, you don't know exactly it's going to do that the whole time. It tried to move up right here in July, and then you draw your lines, connecting points. You have one, two, three, four, one, two, three down. This is a classic falling wedge, where the width <coughs> gets smaller and smaller. And there's the one line. Now, it did come out. It didn't go up. It actually went down out of the falling wage. And it went as low as 40 cents. Then you have to move 50 cents. And look at this volume with the, you know, the news in Congress about legalization of marijuana. And it said 35.6 million in volume. So this one is high as 94, low as 63. <clears throat> And this little run right here was a strong run on this stock. On the weekly, you can see the move down, then move up. It crossed over back in late 2020 and really moved its way up. And here's the streamline down. And you can see the 20 EMA over 13 EMA. There's a $1 move. And there's the move. See it right here? The wick trying to touch it got pushed down right at that 13 EMA. Look how far this has been down. It's been oversold for so long. That's why stocks can remain oversold or overbought. But that is strong volume. That's a good sign. You're sliding out. This could be the next like pot run, pot stocks. Monthly, what do you have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 red candles. You know, 12 out of uh, 11 out of 12 red. And then you have a green candle right there out of this sideways. It's very good. Set of 210 stochastics. This is extremely, extremely oversold. Now you can see this even on the monthly. It's still bearish, but you have a two line and almost three. This could move up there if we start seeing, um, start to bounce up and move higher. So I like that aspect of long, you know, where it's at right now. 69 million market cap, 7.7% uh, insider zone, institution zone 20%. Float, 68 million. Uh, what else we got here? Let's read them down. They sell cannabis accessories, uh, child-resistant packaging, specialty vaporization products, United States, Canada, Europe, Australia, South America. Companies founded in 2005, headquartered in Boca Raton, Florida. They have different websites, higher standard, standards.com, aerospace.com. CanadaVapor.com, VaporShop.com, serves smoke shops, dispensaries, and specialty retail stores. So, you know, this has been, been around a little bit now. It'll be almost three years coming up. And you can see this is on the weekly. Look at that move up. Stochastic's down, move up. You know, where the down move right here, it's trying to come up. This could be... Wait till you draw your lines to the it's breaking up. This could be the time to buy on this. Yeah, you can call it a double bottom. It went a little bit lower. So, low 47, low, all time lows 40 cents, it looks like. Yeah, the risk reward here is great. You want to buy things when they're low. You have Congress talking about legalization, decriminalization of these stocks. So, I like that aspect. Quarterly. You don't see much yet on that. So G N L N. Let's look at the uh, five minute. And yeah, this popped up again. Now we're talking about intraday trading. When this pops up straight up like that, yeah, the move is probably done. 
I think it was 60 cents to 90 on a straight up gap up. Now I did try again, see once it doesn't get above that, it's not good. And then you can see right here on the open, just fade it down. Yeah, then it's pretty much holding 70 cents. That's for a day trade, but yeah, longer term swing. This is looking good. I would look for the one, look for that one dollar roll. And then yeah, one dollar back here. Then you have that two. What did I say in the weekly? Yeah, uh, 75, one dollar. So that's the big catch right here. See that the 20 EMA rolling down. Then you have the monthly, you have two, and you have like three. So this could go anywhere as high as three. Well, Again, yeah, on a shorter term run, we get a pullback, and this runs a little bit. That would be my areas. If this pulls back again, watch that 50 cent line. That's key on penny stocks, 50 cent line. So there it is. This is a classic lesson for a falling wedge. You know, it's in and out. You play this. You can trade that. You know, the wedges, the bounces, the line, the line. And then it comes out. Look at that volume. Now something's up. And this will be interesting the next weeks and months. See what this does. If this is another, like, full run for hot stock. All right, that's it. GNLN. Please subscribe to Mike Hammond Trade Alerts on YouTube. Smash the like button. <coughs> Excuse me. Check out the links below. Uh, social media. Um, I'm on all different social media, like Instagram, TikTok. Um, what else is there? I don't go on Twitch, even though I have it listed. Uh, stock quits. And that's it. Leave any comments on these stocks. If you like the stocks, your information, what your thoughts on them, um, how you're trading them, or if you're swing trading them, holding them long. It's all good. Peace.